Hello and welcome to the Random Bros. This time we have a video for diving fans, but a CNC update video is coming soon. In this video we will show you how we like to edit our diving videos. First, we need to find the music that we like and then using Adobe Audition we trim the music to fit the duration we want. The reason behind that is we want to avoid having a boring clip so it has to be less than a minute long. Import your music, go on properties then click Enable Remix and select your target duration. After that, check if it sounds correctly and import your song into Premiere Pro. Next we have to create a timeline. This is totally up to you and how you like your shots to be in order. We started off by showing the diving spot, then some gear and it goes on. I added some fake cinematic bars just for the looks. After that we go to the effects panel, hit warp, stabilize and apply it on our clip. Our footage was a little bit shaky so we'd like to smooth it out a bit. The settings work best for us are around 10 to 15% of smoothness. So if you slow down some of your clips, when you go to stabilize them you get this error. Remove the stabilize from the clip, select the clip again, right click on it and select nest. Then apply warp stabilize again and it should work. Next we have to create the title you saw in the opening. Open Photoshop, type your title and select the font you like. Then add a black layer below your title. After that, hit Ctrl and select the title layer to make a selection out of the letters. Then select the black layer and hit Delete. Remove the title layer and you have it ready. Export it as a PNG and add it to your clip. Then fix the scale, trim it to size, add some fade out and it's done. Then we add some light leaks and effects. Create an adjustment layer and add it twice above the cut you want. Trim them so you have 6 frames of both adjustment layers in each side of the transition and then cut the bottom layer exactly at the transition. Leave the top one as it is. Go to the effects and add to the bottom layer a replicate effect with the count of 3. Then add 4 times the mirror effect and copy those exact numbers. This effect is created by Justin Odisho. In case you want to learn more, we will leave a link to the video description. Then go to the top layer and add a transform effect. Go before the transition and add a keyframe to scale. Go after the transition and add another keyframe to scale with a value of 300. There are some more steps that Justin shows in case you want to make it look even better, but we are happy with that. Then you can go ahead and copy those layers to another cut you want to add the same effect. After that we wanted to add some light leaks, link to get them is in the description as well. Import the leaks you like then select the exact leak you want and add it above the video where you want it to be shown.
go to effects control and select screen on the blending mode and that's done as well. Next we go ahead to color grade, this is totally up to you so you have to play around a bit. We add an S curve to make it pop out a bit and then do some basic correction. While filming our shots we like to keep the settings as close to each other as possible so we can use the same color profile in multiple shots. When you fix the shot, export the profile and add it to the next outside shot. Go to creative look and add the look you just exported so all the settings you had on the first shot are the same. Play around with the intensity to make it blend. At the underwater shots we are looking to break the greenish and blue color so we add some red to the highlight and shadows color wheel. Fix the curves and go on. Keep in mind this is not a step by step tutorial, we are showing some of the ways we like to edit our clips. That's all for today, thanks a lot for watching the Random Bros and stay tuned if you like our content.